Anya mimi, meni mi kbe nye kemba nchana uneno. Meni wake mbo wafi ketchup, tomato ketchup. Anya ulake wabani wafi tomato ketchup ke tomato paste. Peni uyuzu amu papa. Yo, bebe no kwa on video ne. Kanu nye kwa nwa ke ishi mbo ba like, ba subscribe, no ba share to Oli Oleki's Kitchen. Oi Radon, I can offer you. Hello guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make tomato ketchup. Do you know that you can make tomato ketchup with only tomato paste? Alright, so as I'm showing you my recipe, please stay tuned and don't forget to give your baby girl some like, share, and also subscribe to her channel for more amazing video. So I put in my tomato paste and then I added in some water. I'm going to stir everything well until I achieve a very, very smooth texture. Let me use this opportunity to thank all my amazing followers that have been with me since day one. Thank you, Vivian Botre from Ghana. Thank you, Gloria Sleeving. Thank you, Anna. And also, thank you so much, Regina, for being with me since day one. Thank you so much for liking and sharing my videos as well. So don't forget to tell me which part of the country you are watching from so that I can thank you for watching my recipe. Now that everything is well mixed, we are going to add in some quarter size of onions and then some quarter size of garlic as well. We give it a gentle stir, then we move on to the next process. And to keep me motivated, kindly subscribe to my channel or also follow me. I'm on all social media platforms, so you can also follow me and let's have fun in my kitchen. In my saucepan, I'm going to add in some dark onion. You can also use white sugar in place of this, okay? And I'm going to spread everything very, very well until everything is well, well incorporated. Then I will then go in and add in some three teaspoon of vinegar. You can also use your bottle topper to measure this kind of purpose. I'm going to stir everything very, very well until it is well mixed. Then I'm going to add in my tomato sauce. Before pouring, I allow my tomato sauce to rest for 15 minutes. This is to make sure that the onion and the garlic diffuse very well in my sauce. In order to avoid burnt ketchup, make sure you stir everything very, very well and then we are going to make sure that we add this particular spice. It's very, very important. So before that, I added in some salt to taste and I'm going to add to stir it again. I will then go ahead and add in some cinnamon stick. You can also use cinnamon powder, but please add little, okay? I'm going to stir everything well and allow this to cook for at least 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of allowing this tomato sauce to cook, I'm going to give it a stir. I'm going to add in my corn flour solution and then I'm going to give it a well stir until it thickens. This corn flour is a must because it's going to help in the thickness of the sauce. So after adding it, you are going to stir it very, very well until you achieve a very, very thick texture like this. At this point, you are going to off your gas, allow it to cool and then you remove the garlic and the onions in the sauce now we are going to pour this gently in a glass bowl or in a tight container then you keep it in your fridge up to three months thank you so much for watching this kind of recipe and i hope you really enjoyed kindly don't forget to give your baby girl some like if you really enjoy this recipe and all right see you next time on the kids kitchen and have a wonderful day see how beautiful the end results is so 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 amazing i hope you are going to try this soon okay all right See you next time on Lucky's Kitchen and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.